We're just going down to the little river near our house. They've got the cousin staying tonight in their bedroom, who's also suspected to be on the autism spectrum. He hasn't got a diagnosis, but I told my sister a year and a half ago that he was. Um, but I don't know. Get down here and let them hopefully play a bit just to get them out for half hour. Well, we'll see how long it is. I'll give you a time check when I get down there. It's so just not much of a river. What we have noticed though, this year it wasn't here the other day. It's like someone's built a barrier to try to stop the water. Obviously, it's not going to stop it. And that ain't the beavers. <laughs> so the council must be trying to slow the water down that's going down there somehow for some reason careful where you're throwing I found the yes a hole yeah, but if he, if he, oh, oh, you won't Stay tonight, and then the heart's gonna go, but we'll see. Huh? Where are we going? Home? Okay. Come on, Emma. and subscribers welcome back to autism twins and us we have just handed back my nephew isaac to his mummy and daddy as he stayed with us for the night went pretty well actually a little bit of a wobble at bedtime which is totally understandable yeah school tomorrow yeah george school tomorrow okay good boys yeah it went really really well the only tricky bit was bedtime really 
Um, Isaac is three and a bit, and about three and a half, and he is, in my opinion, is autistic. He hasn't got a diagnosis yet. I'll add a couple of clips in if my sister will allow it, which I'm sure she'll be fine with, or and her husband. Um, just of him playing and stuff, but you might be able to spot a couple of telltale signs. A very similar thing to George used to do. He's non-verbal at the moment. I think the odd mummy or daddy, and that's about it. Stop hitting the screen. And George has had a really tough morning, not because of Isaac, just because he's got in his mind that we've got something here that we haven't got. So he keeps going on about it and then having a meltdown every time he starts remembering about it and going on about it. So we're battling that. It is Sunday. He's back to school tomorrow. He's been off for two weeks. So Amy will have a deserved rest. She's just went to get him some Bongella because he now, moaning right here, and then after eventually letting Amy look properly, she said that he's got an ulcer. I don't even know what an ulcer looks like, so I would have been none the wiser. So she's went to get him some Bongella to put on it. Um, Amy's had them before, apparently. I've never had them. So, yeah, a bit of a manic 30 hours-ish. Um, we had a busy day yesterday, and then we picked up the, the nephew, uh, their cousin, sorry, was dropped to us. Um, and we've had him as well, who's um, got needs as well. A bit like George, but a bit further back down the line. So, um, yeah, it's been a busy couple of days. Hopefully you enjoy some of the clips. Good boy, Isaac. I think I've told you you need something when you want it to. See, look at him eating it. It's really nice. Money at money supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's having a funny face. Mm. He's being silly. Uh -huh. Good boy. Well, he is his foot on me. Yeah, he's just relaxing. Put your leg back. There you go. Have a pig. Minion. <coughs> Ryan. Dougie. I don't know what that one's called. That's from Fireman Sam. Bing. <laughs> that made your little face smile. Good boy. You're a big, brave boy now. Tell you, Jubbies. Bless ya. You're tired with these two waking you up. <laughs> Show him, George, spinning. Spinning. <laughs> What's he doing? Well done. Well done. <laughs> Meal. How do you think it's went having, well, two definite autistic boys and what? We're hundred percent sure he's going to be a third when he gets a diagnosis. Easy. He's having a little nappy napperoo because he wasn't used to being woke up at what time? Half past three. Ten past three. He, I think he did go back to sleep for a bit though. No, he didn't. Oh, I I didn't hear them. I must have dropped back off. So I think the three o'clock George wake up call ripping the curtain off the walls done him in a bit, and he has got a bit of a cough so. Sorry, Auntie Lucy, he's having a bit of a nap. But we didn't make him, he just wanted to sit up and doze. Oh, he's a lovely little thing. But he's been alright. We've had to watch him and George a little bit, like 
having a go at each other a little bit. I think that's because George doesn't really understand another kid with non-verbal, even though George is verbal. I think he finds it a bit strange, doesn't he? It definitely reinforces that I'm glad we didn't have any more. Yeah. Because it would just be George trying to get at a baby all the time. Mind you, he'd probably get used to it. Too. He's been less bothered about Isaac today than yesterday. They were playing together earlier. Yeah. So, all good. Just wait for his mum to pick him up today, whatever time they get here. But he's been alright. Well done. What flavour is that? Nice. George is happy watching that. Matthew! Yeah? What did you tell us? How did Isaac do in your bed? He, he was actually really good, actually. He he cried at the very beginning, didn't he? And then I came back in, mm -hmm. and he got back in bed, and then he just went straight to sleep, didn't he? But, but then he cried again a little bit. Did he? Then, yeah. Oh, right, yeah, when I first put him in. And but then, um, yeah, he cried firstly in order to get you. And the next, he cried a little bit, and then he went to sleep. He just went to sleep all night, didn't he? Yeah. And well done for being a good big cousin, looking after him, letting him in with your bed. Yeah. There's probably not much room in there for you both, though, was there? Yeah, I left a little bed. Did you? Yeah. I think next time we'll have to make sure he's got a little bed for himself. Yeah, it also just fell out. What you did? Yeah. Yeah, because there's probably not so much room. So, so just for one night, it's fine, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Well, well done for looking after him. You're welcome. You did very well. And Isaac will be very proud of you when he gets older. Yeah. He knows you looked after him. But would he remember it? Probably not. Well, we, we can tell him when he's older. Yeah. But, yeah, you're all up early, but that's not too bad. You did well. Well yeah. done, mate. Thank you.